Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to Christmas. <laughs> I love Christmas, I'm obsessed with Christmas. I love everything there is about Christmas. I'm obsessed. So I was incredibly excited to put this together for you. This is gonna be like my Christmas gift guide, if you like. You can think about it as something to show your other half. Look at this list anything off here will be great. Um, you can look at it as a guide to buying for people, ideas for things for yourself as a pre-Christmas treat. Put it on your Facebook so your secret Santa might have a little look through. Or just sit back and enjoy the Christmassy vibes, the Christmassy packaging, the Christmassy ideas. So I'm gonna give you all the prices. I'm gonna link everything down below. None of it is gonna be affiliate links. It's all just there to help you guys find the products. Now, at the point of this video going up, all of this stuff will be in stock, but obviously I can't control who else is gonna buy it between now and then. So if I see anything going out of stock, I will try and replace the link or try and search for a replacement idea. But I will list to the best of my ability everything down below with a link to where you can buy it at the time of the video going up. Some of these things are things that I've picked up recently or I just purchased for myself recently and I think they make amazing gifts. Some of them are things that I am going to purchase or have purchased as gifts to give to somebody and some of them are just things I've got my little eye on, that I've been dropping hints about that I think will be amazing gifts and will definitely make me a happy bunny on Christmas day if they're under my tree. I had a slight slip up the other day, Christmas slip up. My daughter, as you guys know, is like four and a half. So this is the first Christmas where she's really sort of understood it's coming, it's happening, all about it, all that kind of stuff. Um, whereas previous years, you know, she's known it's Christmas, but there's been less of a sort of build up towards it. Um, and I said something about, oh, maybe, you know, you could ask grandma for Christmas. She looked at me and was like, but mummy, Santa does Christmas, not grandma. And I was like, oh, oh yeah, silly. I was thinking about your birthday. I was thinking about your birthday. So before we get started, a couple of tips on getting the best deals for Christmas presents. First up, Black Friday. I don't know if this exists everywhere, but in the UK it is massive. And last year it really caught me out because I think it's literally only been maybe last couple of years in the UK that there's been a really big thing. And last year there was incredible discounts and deals to be had on makeup and beauty kits and sets and gifts especially um, around Black Friday, which happens like the 23rd of November, I think. So if you're not especially concerned with things that might sell out or you're going for the things which are permanent and will likely still be in stock, then it's definitely worth hanging around for that Black Friday period. The second tip is that John Lewis in the UK has a huge range of brands that it stocks and they price match. So I always check John Lewis first because, you know, Debenhams might be having a sale or Boots might be having a sale, but John Lewis price matches everybody. So you will always get the cheapest prices at John Lewis, I think as long as they obviously stock the brand. So that is just a couple of money saving tips before we get started. Now, the first thing I wanted to talk to you about is calendars. Now I've never bought or received a beauty or makeup calendar. And previously I have never been interested in them because I just feel they are not good value for money. A lot of them have a huge amount of rubbish in them and also a huge amount of them only have like 10 doors which is unacceptable to me. An advent calendar has to have at least 24 doors. The best ones have 25, but it has to have 24 doors. Otherwise it's not an advent calendar. It's like a week's calendar. I feel like a lot of them are really hugely expensive for only really lots of little samples. And then you only really probably want half of what's in the calendar. But this year I tried for the purposes of the video to find one that I think is very good value. And I think it is the ASOS makeup and beauty advent calendar it looks incredible so it is 55 pounds it has 24 doors <laughs> set in the bar guys join us up here so it is 55 pounds and it includes all of what you can see in this picture but just in case you can't you know 
zoom right in with your eyeballs. You've got Sand and Skies Clay Mask. You've got Rhode Isle's Blood Sculpting Gel. You've an Iconic London Illuminator Mini Clinique Moisturizer. You've got the Benefit Hula Bronzer, a Bobbi Brown Mascara. You've got a little Carmex a um, Coco and Eve Nourishing Hair Mask, which I've had a sample of and is amazing. A Glam Glow Moisturizer, J1 Jelly Pack, a Luxie Contouring Brush, Max Strobe Cream, Sand and Sky Mask, and the list goes on. They, every single thing in there is something that you would want and would love to try. So I feel like that is the best calendar for that price point, 55 pound, very good value for what is in there. That's my recommendation if you're looking for an advent calendar, a beauty advent calendar. So first up we have this Huda Lip Tin. This is a very beautiful, sparkly tin, and this is exclusive to Selfridges. Um, Sephora has a holographic tin which has the heartbreaker the red lip and we have cheerleader and then a matching gloss and lip liner in this tin £29 and you get to have three Huda lip products that all work beautifully together or separately with other stuff and a gorgeous red festive tin which I just think is a lovely gift to have under the tree by the way I'm trying to make this a bit of a range as far as prices because obviously everyone's budgets are different and so I've tried to include things that are you know my god this person must be trying to marry me down to this is like a secret Santa we're on a budget present so I hopefully have price wise something for everybody in the video so bear that in mind. Next up, this gorgeous, why am I holding my pen? I've got so many notes. I feel like a receptionist. Put it down, put the pen down. This is this Ted Baker vanity. So it's like a travel makeup case, if you will. It looks stunning. It comes in actually three shades. I love the pink one, but there is also a white one and there's a black one with like a rose print on it. It looks amazing all the compartments, very, very safe and secure, and it attaches to the Ted Baker luggage if you are lucky enough to have that. Absolutely gorgeous. And you know, anyone giving you that under your tree deserves a big kiss under the mistletoe, if you ask me. Next up, and this is something that I specifically have put on my own wish list this year, and this is the Beauty Blender kit so there are a few different options and something for every price range with these beauty blender kits so i asked for the blenders delight which is 34 pounds and you get two blenders two cleansers and a travel case and i just always i always ask for a beauty blender kit at christmas or my birthday because they are to me the kit and uh, the kit the sponge and the cleanser are both essentials that i always have and i've been repurchasing for years but they're a very annoying thing to buy for yourself because they're very unexciting and they aren't that cheap so asking for them for Christmas and your birthday means that you get them in a lovely kit and it's very Christmassy and lovely but they are very very useful and like I say they have a bigger kit that's 52 pounds that has more blenders and cleanser and they have a smaller kit that is 19 pounds that is just one blender and cleanser so it's kind of something for all budgets there as well and always really cute packaging with the blender sets next up something that I do have which is the hourglass unlocked palette you guys saw me review this it's just absolutely gorgeous a stunning luxury gift to give someone this one well they're always limited edition this one sold out almost immediately but it seems that Nessa Porter have some back in stock so if that is still the case then run otherwise your best bet is to go into space nk stores or call them up and see because mine had stock very recently and my store is the bath store if you are looking they also have the volume four palette which again a stunning gift it's got like a gorgeous like lilac packaging it looks like again just as amazing of a gift to receive and that seems to be in stock at space nk as well online and several other places so that one will probably be easier to find next up drunk elephant the littles kit i have never tried anything from drunk elephant they've only just come to the uk it is expensive a skincare brand but it has been incredibly received in the us where it's been available for a while and this is a very good 
way to try a load of their products or just to get a load of their products because it is really good value for money you get a lot of really good sized minis in this kit so again if you really wanted to try it or you're just obsessed with that brand that is a really good like starter kit to try as many things as possible the mac christmas collection this year now i agree i think it was really under hype this year and it shows that it is still almost all of it if not all of it is still in stock in numerous places which is very unusual for max christmas collections so on paper it looks like a disaster but i wonder if they've just maybe finally learned from previous years and maybe got a lot more stock this year i don't know but i will say that i think what the issue is is the packaging because the products themselves so i have the face palette again i reviewed this palette it is one of my favorite face palettes of all time all of the shades are absolutely stunning and again they are incredible value for money so this face palette is 29 pounds and you get three full sized products in here so this is um 14 grams and a mineralized blush is about three or three and a bit three and a half something like that so you are getting three full-size products for like the price of one basically in that palette so i think it's a great deal i think their lipstick um kits as well their little lip kits are great value and gorgeous limited edition colors so i think again there's a lot of kits and the brush kits as well look really really nice and come in makeup bags that are really festive and cute because of the packaging it's always a gorgeous gift and all the little kits make gorgeous gifts so keep an eye out for that because it's been in stock much longer and it's much been much easier and achievable to actually get your mitts on them this year and in my opinion the quality of the actual products as opposed to the packaging and the whole theme is phenomenal this year i think the products are amazing i think maybe it's just slightly less exciting versus like the snowball packaging that we had last year a couple of eyeshadow palettes to recommend this huda palette if you didn't see my review it is life-changing in my opinion it's absolutely gorgeous and when you look at those shades so festive and Christmassy, shimmery, sparkly glitters. The packaging is very pretty. Again, a lovely gift to have under the tree. Very much in the same way, the Sultry Palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills. It's very glittery. It's very beautiful, pretty. Lots of shades in there for like Christmas parties, New Year's Eve, that kind of vibe. So again, a gorgeous palette if you're looking for a palette to ask for or to gift to someone, then either of those palettes I think are both beautiful. But obviously I personally own this one and I think it is perfection. The Estee Lauder skincare sets. Again, this is something that is such good value for money. So the one that I've got my eye on is the age prevention set and it's 45 pounds. Now that is essentially the same price, if not the exact same price as their day wear moisturizer. I know because I buy my mum that every year for Christmas because she's obsessed with it. And then I buy her another one for her birthday because that is conveniently in July. So, you know, nicely spaced out so for the price of a full-size moisturizer so the moisturizer in this kit is 50 ml so a really good full-sized moisturizer you then are getting a 30 ml cleansing foam and a sort of baby eye cream to go with the the moisturizer and then you also get a small size of their advanced night repair again 15 mil though it's not that small so really good sizes of other products in there that are all basically free and these are one of the kits that will be very reduced around the Black Friday, or they certainly were last year. They were like hugely reduced in boots. Um, and so they will be on John Lewis as well. Um, so definitely hang on to those because they don't generally sell out, but I would definitely wait for Black Friday because they were really reduced last year and I got properly mugged by paying full price. Next up, this kit from Daniel Sandler. Now you guys know I reviewed or like did a first impressions of his watercolor blushes a couple of months ago i think after you guys were raving about them and i was seeing rave reviews online and i had never tried them like a wally so i then was sent this kit of four so in here you get four of his watercolor blushes and again in this really cute bag that you can obviously either keep them in or use for your makeup so in this kit you get four of his watercolor blushes which are 
gorgeous. So you get two blush shades. You get Pop, which is what I'm wearing on my cheeks today. And it's this gorgeous matte kind of pinky shade. But you know me, I'm not really a pinky girl, but the look at how soft, let me turn my lights down so you can see it a bit better but look at that gorgeous soft pink these are just so customizable and this is actually called the customizable color set for cheeks so it is all you know you can mix them together you can build these up so easily have a look at my review if you want to see how these perform but they are absolutely gorgeous. Lux is like my fave shade ever. More of a peachy shade and really glowy and luminous on the skin. And then these two bad boys are like liquid glow. And if you can see, I have the shade Moon Glow, which is the lighter shade on like my collarbone and on my shoulders today. And it's just so luminous i have been mixing these in with my foundation again which i did today any matte foundation you mix a few drops of these so you have sun glow which is like slightly darker bronzy shade and moon glow which is like a sort of opaly type shade both of them are so gorgeous you can use them obviously as highlighters you can mix them with your foundations and they are just pure dewy glowy heaven they aren't glittery or shimmery even they are glow and dew and it is just gorgeous but they're waterproof and they dry down so although my body looks really glowy and luminous there's no stick there's no like wetness it's like dried down and set so it really lasts as well let me just show you this last sun glow shade because it is this gorgeous bronzy glow perfect for summer or someone with medium skin or deeper that is just gonna oh it's sickening sickening this mixed in with my foundation so if you are someone who just loves these blushes or you've been desperate to try them this is the perfect set because you get four in one you get luminous blush a more matte blush and you get a couple of illuminators and of course if you don't know you can mix these together make your own potions feel like a scientist so that's an extra little bonus in there for you the other amazing thing about this is if you know um, a few people who would love these you can obviously take them out the kit keep one yourself no one needs to know about that and then give the other three stocking fillers or little additions to a secret Santa or something like that it's totally up to you now, if you know someone who loves a luxury candle, both my mum and my sister both asked for luxury candles this year on their wish list. And this is the candle that I've chosen, which is from the Sylvain Delacorte Perfumery. If you don't know, Sylvain makes my absolute all time favorite perfumes. They are stunning, classic, completely unlike any other perfume you will ever try or see the packaging of everything is stunning this is their winter solstice candle and oh my god i haven't lit this yet because i want to give this to my mum but oh my god i mean i when i when this arrived the other week i gave it to my husband to smell and i was like what does this smell like to you and he was just like, oh my God, Christmas. It's like Christmas. But it's not Christmas. Like, you know, you get a lot of Christmas candles that are just very pungent of cinnamon or very pungent of apple and those sort of very sort of obvious scents. And this is not that, but it is just the most beautiful memories in here. It smells to me like a log fire, winter's night, mold wine like brewing or something it is absolutely completely luxurious gorgeous just insane and it has this gorgeous packaging this lid snuffs the candle out it's just absolutely stunning so this is the one that i had from a few months ago now if you don't know i've been selling my house so i've been lighting this candle a lot even though i've been desperately trying to save it now i didn't realize this but these candles have 50 hour burn time look at my candle you can see it's not even it's maybe a quarter used and this has been um, burning like non-stop for hours on end i have a very large house 
and a very large stinking dog and this perfumes my entire house and it hardly anything is gone after it's been burning for hours so if you know someone who loves luxury candles or you want a luxury candle this is the best candle these are the best candles i have ever tried in my life and you cannot go wrong anybody will absolutely treasure one of these and just be blown away and it will last them for such a long time so they really get to enjoy it which is an issue with a lot of candles i find so a couple of things that i've really loved from the nars christmas collection i feel like they knocked it out of the park this year with their packaging if you're a sucker for packaging look no further the hot tryst cheek palette this packaging my god it is incredible absolutely beautiful and if you keep it in your purse it could also be like a self-defense tool because that thing looks dangerous um i also really love at the other end budget wise they've got this gorgeous little set which is the orgasm um, blush and the orgasm lipstick the absolute classic shade from nars in a little kit which again is very cute packaging is gorgeous and a much more budget friendly price another thing on my list from too faced their christmas collection again too faced with packaging amazing and i've seen this set on asos and it is this little christmas set it contains two eyeshadow palettes and a cheek palette for 46 pounds which is amazing value awesome christmas tree packaging absolutely obsessed again you could take it out the packaging keep one give two away or give them to three separate people it's really really up to you what you want to do with it give it as one beautiful gift or take it out separate it and you've got three amazing gifts stocking fillers etc for a much more reasonable price magic mirror now i was desperate to get my hands on one of these to show you because obviously i can't tell you it's amazing when i haven't seen one in person but i discovered this product on instagram a few weeks ago and it is 100 going on my christmas list it looks amazing i hugely struggle with a full-size mirror in my bedroom because there's just nowhere to put it like there's no wall where a full-size mirror can conveniently go it's like there's windows on three walls wardrobes on another and the door on the other so i really struggle like knowing if my top and bottom goes a lot of the time it doesn't because i can't tell i can't look at them in one go so this is an incredible solution not only to like my issue but if you're traveling if you're going away um, it's basically a fold up mirror that can fold up and be like a, a mirror to do your makeup with on your vanity or whatever when you're traveling and it also extends to make a full size mirror and it can be tied to like the back of the door hung over a door hung wherever you can on a coat hook in a wardrobe etc i just think this is an incredible idea and it comes in like like a ton of options and sizes and all that kind of stuff so i cannot guarantee you on the quality of this item because i haven't seen one in person but i can tell you it's a ridiculously good idea and i definitely want to get my mitts on one the next thing i've asked for on my list is i've picked up the pen again i'm so sorry i'm also sorry if you've if you can hear the absolute wally who's decided to start mowing his lawn while i'm trying to film how rude but i don't know how long it's going to be so we're just going to have to push through it but the next thing on my list is a clarisonic now this is a typical kind of present for me it's something where i'm like do i need it no i can just use a flannel or you know face wash and my hands as nature intended but do i want one will it potentially clean my face better and do all my face products better probably so therefore instead of buying one myself put it on your christmas list that's kind of how i do gift lists you know it's all the stuff that either i can't justify or i don't want to spend my money on it there's always something more exciting but if someone else wants to buy one for me you go ahead you do what you think is right benefit always kill christmas always with the packaging and the sets they win Christmas every year. So they also have something for every budget. You can get these gorgeous little like decorations that you can hang on the tree or put in stockings that are like 10 pounds, or you can go nuts with like their huge gift sets that have like loads of products. For me personally, I love their brow kits, but much like the Beauty Blender set, we all need brow products, but they're boring to buy. 
boring. You'd always much rather buy a palette or a foundation or a, you know a blush kit or lipsticks even. Brow products, I mean maybe some people get excited by them but uh, for me I'm like I always pretty much just keep buying the same ones and it's boring and expensive. But if someone could buy you a kit that has like four or five brow products you get to try them all, saves you money, saves you purchasing them when you know you'd rather spend your money on something more exciting. So I always feel like the brow sets for me are something that always goes on my list. Last but by no means least, if you have like a minted uncle or you know your husband has not put the bins out as he promised every time this year or you know someone has fallen out with you and is trying to get back in your good books and they're really really willing to put a lot of money behind that situation, Pat McGrath's Christmas kits I'm dying over. If you've always wanted to try Pat McGrath, but like the price of the eyeshadow, the full size eyeshadow palettes makes you want to curl up into a ball and hide throughout the winter season, then this might be a helper. So she now has the mini eyeshadow kits that come with two lipsticks in a little set. And <laughs> don't get me wrong it's not cheap it's not even a reasonable amount of money it's an insane amount of money however if like me you've always been nosy are her eyeshadows really actually that much better than a normal human eyeshadow and the same for her lipsticks and this is a way to try her eyeshadows and her lipsticks at a price that is probably half of what that would usually cost you to do that's a great option she's also just brought out her insanely stunning glitter lipsticks with the ridiculously Christmassy packaging and they now come in little kits and sets as well which will save you like a tenner if you were to buy two separate lipsticks these little kits with a glitter lipstick and a regular lipstick come together for £51 which saves you I think it's like nine or ten pounds and again I mean I was gonna say there's something for everybody but there's not because like the minimum amount is like £51 for one of these kits but there is a range from like £51 for a little um, kit of two lipsticks right up to £250 for the whole set. So, you know, you have to ask yourself how good you've been. Only you can answer that question. But believe me, nobody is going to complain with any of these sets or kits underneath the tree from Pat McGrath that it is just going to blow their minds. So there you have it, that is my definitive guide to Christmas gift buying or treating yourself or stocking fillers or just, you know, gift lists, gift ideas. I don't know what I'm going to call it, but something with Christmas in it. I hope you find this helpful. If you've got any tips or ideas or little gift sets that you've seen that you think should be on my list, please hit me up in the comments down below. I would love to know what is on your Christmas list because you guys know I am very, very nosy. I hope you enjoyed this video and I would love to see you in a future video. So take care for now. Bye, 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 bye.